So this is a question from the OCR paper, Jan uh, June 2012, F324 Rings Polymers and Analysis. And this is a polymer question. And it starts by saying, this question looks at different types of condensation polymers, polyesters, polyamides, and proteins. Polyester A, shown below, is a biodegradable polymer formed by bacterial fermentation of sugars. And we know it's a polyester because the functional group is an ester group, and the ester group is C double bond O, bond O, and either side of the carbon and the oxygen are carbon-containing groups. It is one reason that polyester A is biodegradable, it can be hydrolyzed, state another way that a polymer bait might be degraded, and the classic way to do this is via UV light or sunlight. And you know this, because if you leave a carry bag out in your garden for a long time, the carry bag develops holes, it falls apart. The question goes on to say, when polymer A is hydrolyzed with aqueous acid, compound B is formed. Draw the skeletal formula of compound B. So the important part is skeletal formula of B. So how do I know where it's going to hydrolyze? Well, what we do know is you make an ester from an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. So if you hydrolyze an ester, then what you do is you break the bond you will have formed when you made it. So we're going to break that bond and we're going to break that bond. So we break this bond because it's the bond that you would form if you made it from an alcohol and the carboxylic acid. So if I draw what we'd have, we'd have an oxygen there. That carbon is this carbon there. It goes down, goes up, goes O. Now we know that oxygen has two bonds, so it must be an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. Does that make sense? Well, it's a polyester, so if you imagine if that molecule were to react with another molecule next to it, so this is the perfect answer, I'm going to show you how I got it. If it were to react with another molecule of the carboxylic acid, then it would lose water. It would lose water that way, so you'd lose H2O from the hydroxyl, from the OH, and from the carboxylic acid. That oxygen would connect onto that group there, and you would end up with this molecule, oxygen, Oops, up to this. So you end up with that molecule, and that molecule could then add more and more of itself on till you got the polymer. So going back to the question, draw the skeletal formula of compound B. The skeletal formula is that. And what I've done there is I've, made, I've showed you how I've pulled apart that polymer to show you how to work out the monomers it comes from. 